Hey guys, Vanessa here, registered dietitian, nutritionist, and so excited about today's recipe. I'm going to prepare a very, very smoothie bowl. Now, smoothie bowls are very refreshing, great for breakfast, great as a snack, and also a great alternative for before or even after a workout. So here's what you need for this recipe. So you're gonna need mixed frozen berries, a banana, some chia seeds, some raw cacao, Greek yogurt, and coconut water. For your toppings, you can use the ones that you like. I've got some cocoa nibs, some coconut flakes, some buckwheat granola, some mango, and some goji berries. So right before we get blending, I wanna give you just a quick word about smoothies. Now, I get asked about smoothies all of the time from clients and readers and friends, and I understand why. Smoothies are super quick, really convenient, great to grab and go. But a big mistake that I see people make is just building their smoothies with fruit, maybe a little bit of fruit juice. What you need to remember is that smoothies are foods that have been liquefied, and so they will escape your stomach faster and sooner, and so they won't sustain you as long as solid food would. That's why it is so important for smoothies to be balanced. So remember, building a balanced bowl is all about including real food by following the formula of high fiber carbs, some protein, some healthy fats, and some color. So here's how we're gonna do it. All right, so let's get blending. Now, the basics of a smoothie bowl is very similar to the smoothie you would make at home, except we're adding very little liquid, or you could add none at all. So it's gonna be a little bit thicker in consistency and you can go ahead and eat it with a spoon. So, I'm gonna start off with my base. I've got some frozen berries here. You can use fresh as well. One banana. Now, this is enough for about two people. So I'm using this here. I'm gonna try to get a nice ripe banana. It's gonna be a little bit sweeter. Break that up and put that in there. I'm going to add some chia seeds for our healthy fats. I'm also going to add some raw cacao. Now this cocoa powder or raw cacao is a little bit different from the one that you might typically be using to bake with. This one is raw and it's much more healthful and all the um, good compounds that are very anti-inflammatory, antioxidant are much more present in this one and it gives it a really nice flavor too. So I'm going to add this into the smoothie as well. I'm going to add some Greek yogurt for a protein kick. And again, you could be using a lot of other things as your protein source if you'd like. And I'm going to be using a bit of coconut water for liquid. You don't need very, very much. There you go. All right, let's get blending. Perfect, nice and creamy and smooth and quite thick. So I'm gonna pour this into my bowl. There you go, that's enough for now. Now for the fun part. So if you are making a smoothie bowl as a snack, then you can go ahead and enjoy it as is. If you're having it as a breakfast, then you can go ahead and load it up a little bit more, which is exactly what we're going to do with our toppings. Now I recommend about two to three toppings of your choice, but this is where you get to have a lot of fun. So I'm gonna dress mine up with, I've got some diced mango, so I'm gonna layer some right over the top like this, like so. Um, I've got some goji berries here, but I think I'm gonna keep it to the mango. I'm going to use some crunchy, this is buckwheat granola. I've got the recipe over on my website. It's at motivenutrition.com. Really simple, great crunch. So I'm gonna add this on top for texture and you can use whatever granola you really like. And I'm also going to add some coconut flakes, like that. And it's just really beautiful. I mean, look at that. Right, you just wanna dive right in. 
Now, if you're having this before a workout, try to time it about an hour and a half before, an hour and a half to two hours to make sure that you have time to digest it and that you can really get all of the energy and all of the hydration from this smoothie bowl to really fuel you during your exercise. And if you're having it after your workout, try to time it within about 45 minutes upon finishing. This is especially important if you're somebody who trains on consecutive days. When you train back to back, your body doesn't have enough time to recuperate. And so having something like this that has a little bit of carbs, some protein, some healthy fats is going to help you rebuild those muscles and help you um, restore and replenish all of those energy stores for the next day. But if you have more questions about what to eat after the workout, I'm going to link to a really, really good article below so you can check that out. So I'm going to go right ahead and dive right in. Next time you build your own balance bowl, please be sure to show me. You can share it in your networks or tag balanced bowls either on Instagram, on Facebook. And please go to www.motivenutrition.com. Know that when you sign up to the mailing list, you'll get a free ebook telling you all about how to build your own balance bowl at home. Bon appétit.